now on Kessler's medical condition. The defendant's multiple sclerosis and any role it might have played in this deadly crash took center stage in the courtroom. Whose job is it to decide whether someone with a medical condition is safe to drive? The I-Team's Ryan Kath is here now with a closer look. Ryan? Lisa, thousands of people surrender their licenses every year for medical reasons. But here in Massachusetts, doctors aren't legally required to report patients to the RMV. So most of the responsibility falls on drivers to give up the keys. Commonwealth recognizes that Mr. Kassler has multiple sclerosis. And after months of investigating, prosecutors concluded Brad Kassler's disease was not a factor in the moments leading up to the deadly collision at Sweet Tomatoes Restaurant. Multiple sclerosis was not the cause of this crash. How difficult of a topic is this for doctors? I think it's one that can be really challenging. The uh, president of the Massachusetts Medical Society says MS is tricky and, uh, because some patients are almost paralyzed by the disease while others can still drive safely. Multiple sclerosis is a, is a good example of a condition where um, it's not black and white at all. Unlike other states, the I-Team learned in Massachusetts there is no legal requirement for doctors to report medical conditions that could affect driving ability to the RMV. Should there be? I don't think so. Patients may be less likely to seek care for those conditions and uh, may not be as open and frank in their conversation with their doctor about the conditions. Instead, doctors or police officers and concerned family members can voluntarily submit one of these requests for medical evaluation forms to the state. As a result of those forms, records the I-Team obtained show an average of 3,200 drivers have to surrender their licenses each year, while another 5,000 drivers have to take a road exam or provide a medical clearance form. He will likely never drive again. Castler's attorney has hinted MS contributed to the tragedy, though he has yet to provide more details. What did his doctor tell him about driving prior to the crash? I'll check, guys. Thanks so much. Just one, let's get through, please. Court documents that could provide some of those answers are temporarily impounded until at least Thursday. We do know that Castler had three previous accidents on his driving record. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.